Hey Cobra Kai fans, we have a new character announcement that should make all Terry Silver fans very excited. I'm Ken Cole, and if you're a fan of Cobra Kai, you've come to the right place. And if you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit subscribe and like, which helps this channel grow. So, for today's exciting news, Cobra Kai showrunners Hayden Schlossberg, John Hurwitz, and Josh Heald shared a Deadline article with two major announcements. One, that Dallas Dupree Young is a series regular in Season 5, so we can expect to see a lot more of Kenny going forward. And two, and this is the mysterious part, actress Alicia Hannah Kim will play, quote, formidable South Korean sensei Kim Daun, who factors into Terry Silver, Thomas Ian Griffith's plans for accelerating Cobra Kai's expansion. So why is this fascinating? Well, in the Season 5 trailer, we saw the back of a sensei with a very long braid putting Tori through some rough training that looked a lot like the Quicksilver method from Karate Kid 3. So this sensei in the trailer might be Sensei Kim Daun. But even more interestingly, way back in Karate Kid 3, Terry Silver introduced himself as studying under Master Kim Sung Young of South Korea. My name is Terry Silver. My master is Kim Sung Young of South Korea. In the Cobra Kai Vietnam flashbacks, Captain Turner said he also studied Tang Soo Do under Kim Sung Young of South Korea. So I learned Tang Soo Do during the Korean War under Master Kim Sung Young. So Kim Sung Young is the martial arts master responsible for the Cobra Kai fighting style. And series co-creator Hayden Schlossberg has said that he's the only other fighter that's on Mr. Miyagi's level of power, and everyone else is much lower. And that's probably a picture of Master Kim Sung Young in the background when Daniel walks into the Cobra Kai dojo in Karate Kid 1. So what does this have to do with the new character sensei Kim Daun? Well, the article says she's a sensei who's also from South Korea. But also, and I'm not a Korean expert, so if you are, please help me out in the comments. But in South Korea, the surname or family name comes first. So for Kim Daun, her family name is Kim. But hang on. For Kim Sung Young, his family name is also Kim. So while Kim is a common Korean surname, given the martial arts and Terry Silver connections, it's very possible that this new sensei, Kim Daun, is related to famed master Kim Sun Young, who could be her grandfather. So what does this mean for the Cobra Kai series? Well, for one, it means that Terry Silver has given his Cobra Kai dojos a dangerous new sensei, one that may have spent her entire life training under a Miyagi-level master, her skills may easily surpass both Daniel and Johnny. Though surpassed chosen, unknown. Cobra Kai will now be an almost unstoppable force in the Valley. It also means that John Kreese and Terry Silver may have studied directly under Kim Sun Young, as Terry said in Karate Kid 3, instead of just under Captain Turner, which is all we've seen in the flashback so far. If so, it seems Terry Silver kept up much better contact with his old master's family than John Kreese did. Has Terry been regularly training with Master Kim Sun Young in South Korea over the decades? He certainly had the money to do that, and it would explain why he's so good. And finally, it means that if Kim Daun studied directly under Master Kim Sun Young, she may have skills that match or surpass Terry Silver in his own fighting style. Having such a great sensei teaching at his Cobra Kai dojos would be a dream come true for Terry. As long as Kim Daun doesn't get angry with Terry for some reason, Terry does have a reputation for manipulating, conning, and screwing people over. Still love you, Terry. But if he pisses off Kim Daun, that might put Terry on the receiving end of some pain for the first time since Mr. Miyagi. One more interesting note. The name Daun means kindness. However, the name Un by itself means silver. Coincidence? I'm not sure, but let me know what you think in the comments. And it'll be very interesting to see what becomes of Sensei Kim Daun. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.